look at another category, something which I think all of you are very familiar with because you all carry this in your pockets, smartphones. And let me look at how one particular type of smartphone is suddenly dominating this category at the expense of other segments. Yeah. This is how the smartphone industry used to look three years ago, two and a half, three years ago. There were premium smartphones and these were basically smartphones with a big screen, a great processor sitting behind it, but they were priced at 40,000 rupees and above. Everybody wanted a smartphone like that, but very few people could afford it. Then you had what were called feature-rich smartphones. These were smartphones which were priced at a little less than 20,000 rupees, uh, above 10,000 rupees. Basically, they were complete touch screen with whatever software in it, but they had a small screen and they had a small processor, not a high-powered processor. And then you had entry-level smartphones, which are basically cheap. Cheap phones, very indifferent processors, stuff like that. What the smartphone or what the phone manufacturers did is they realized people basically wanted a big screen. They also realized people wanted computing power even if they were not going to use it. They, they wanted that power. Yeah. So they innovated. They created what you called a mid-tire smartphone. This had the screen of a premium smartphone, so it was large size. It had a processor which was one or two gen less than a premium smartphone, so it was not as powerful but it was 85 to 90 percent there but much cheaper suddenly and suddenly this segment took off and it is by far the largest growing segment in the last two years in the smartphone industry. It has already overtaken the feature rich smartphone industry and is actually threatening to cannibalize a part even of the premium smartphone industry. So again the same format, you get a higher end attribute, you put it into a reasonable package which a customer has always aspired for but couldn't afford and suddenly that industry booms and it creates a segment of its own that now everybody is trying to do. So we believe in a similar manner, we has the ability and the distinctive advantages that allow us as a company to create a new segment in commuter bikes. Let me try to encapsulate how we look at this segment and how we is going to create a new segment. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how commuting bike looks in this country. You have practical machines. Uh, these are traditional format normal bikes that we've been seeing in the last 20 years. Uh, I, I, I call them the regular commuters in our own talents back in Bajaj Auto. So these are bikes like say, uh, just to take some names, uh, like a Splendor uh, or, a, or, a, or a Dream Series. Then you have in the commuter segment, sporty and youthful bikes. These are actually effectively the same bike dressed up a little better. Uh, take for example the passion maybe or maybe the glamour to some extent to, to take two names. And both these bikes today are the two segments in the executive motorcycle industry which is around 500,000 bikes a month in this country. We believe there is a third position, the position that meets the four needs that I spoke about earlier, the four requirements that are not being met by the current set of bikes. And we call this position the position of a solid commuter. And this is the position that the V will take. So I've spoken about the needs of a customer, I've spoken about what we are planning to do to create a segment. Now of course there's much more about the segment that I'm going to speak about coming, coming ahead. We believe that we have made a bike that cannot be defeated, subdued or conquered. We believe this bike is invincible in the marketplace. And at Bajaj Auto and on behalf of the company, I am very honored to present to all of you here today, The Invincible.